So it's really green infrastructure that we've created here to um, address those flooding and erosion issues. When there's rain, no problem. If there's sun, no problem either. At the Salt Fleet Conservation Area in Hamilton, a giant new wetland has been unveiled and now other conservation groups, private restoration consultants and municipalities are looking to this project for lessons to adapt to water systems across Ontario for future needs. This is uh, what I'll refer to as our, our easterly cell. Uh, and the main arm of Battlefield Creek flows right down through it. Um, the two wetlands combined, uh, this easterly cell and the westerly cell that we have. It's over um, those trees? Yeah, uh, just, it's just on the other side of those trees. Um, it, it's, it's a wetland of about 33 acres. At one point, most of this was used for agricultural purposes. It's taken since 2014 when the idea was first considered to find suitable property, acquire funding and the land, then design and build the site. Now a series of berms largely hold the water on multiple levels of the property, enough to fill about 88 Olympic-sized swimming pools, preventing flooding in downstream urban areas. We don't manipulate the water levels at all. It's just the water comes in and is slowly released through those outfalls. Down just to um, in front of me a little ways, that's where the outflow is. I, I haven't seen one as, as large as this in Ontario. Peter Beckett is a professor emeritus of restoration ecology with Laurentian University. He came from Sudbury to see the finished product and says we could think of this design as a hybrid between a natural wetland and the man-made water retention ponds more common in urban areas. Well, I think we should certainly take these lessons to Toronto, in fact, to, to any municipality uh, where there are problems with flash flood. He adds a wetland like this is useful both when there's too much rain and too little. These wetlands hold water and release water during the summer and uh, keep, keep the streams healthy uh, during the drought period. Meanwhile, the chair of the Ontario Society of Ecological Restoration agrees more features like this could be helpful for adapting water systems in the GTA but adds there are a lot of other cities in the province that could stand to benefit too. Looking at the landscape of Ontario, the most built up areas, uh, the most areas where we've lost historical wetland features will benefit the most from adding natural heritage features, wetlands back to the landscape. The more we can have features like this that can hold the water, absorb it into the ground, slowly release it, it's pretty critical from, a, from a, a natural habitat perspective, but also a protection of life and property perspective. At the Salt Fleet Conservation Area in Hamilton, David Zura, City News.